I used to hear people saying they were in love and it's like, what does that mean? But as I know now, looking back, God had a plan on bringing me here and his plan is still unfolding in my life. I was working in Dublin back in 1964. My parents asked me if I would come out to New York to help my sister with the children. You know, at that time I had really no idea of, of staying here. My dad came to say goodbye. And as he was hugging me, he said, just promise me one thing, don't get married over there. And so in May 1964, I came to the United States of America. One uh, Friday night, my brother-in-law's two cousins called and said they were going to a dance down 69th Street. And I said no at first, but they talked me into it. And anyway, we were there and she happened to know there was two guys at the bar. And after the dance, one of them asked me if we could have the next dance. I had just gotten out of the service a year before that or two years before that and was still enjoying myself as a free man, not looking to settle down yet. But sometimes you meet the right person and it changed your whole outlook on life. My first impression was that he looked very settled looking and that he may have been married. But I was very happy to find out that uh, he wasn't married and you know, my first impression was totally wrong about him altogether. So anyway, he took me home that night and I remember him going to kiss me goodnight. And I said, I don't kiss any Tom, Dick or Harry. And he said, well, my name is Jim, not Tom, Dick, or Harry. And that was the beginning of a lifetime <laughs> of stuff like that. <laughs> How are you? Yeah? <laughs> Have you been here before? Oh, uh, no. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't want to fall in love with anybody because I promised my parents that I would come back home. I had you know, boyfriends in Dublin, but it didn't bother me one bit that I, I left them all over there. But I couldn't imagine uh, not having him in my life. I never felt like that about anybody else. And uh, that's when I knew this is um, something deeper than I ever felt before. So I knew that I was really choosing between Jim and my parents. But I knew also in my heart that if I went home, I would never be happy again. I was pretty sure that this was the person I wanted to marry and spend my life with. And I asked her and because I knew that she was looking to go back home. I thought I was going to be rejected, but I was pleasantly surprised when she said yes. It took me many months to get up the courage to write a letter. The best thing I could come up with was that I had to go where my heart was leading. And I'm glad to say that it led me the right way. We've been together now over 50 years. And I know I'm very happy about that. And so am I. <laughs> I know God wanted us to meet on our own. And he took me to this little dinky Irish bar to meet the love of my life. And he has provided us with three wonderful children. 
and seven wonderful grandchildren. To think that it all came about because of this little dinky bar <laughs> on 69th Street. <laughs>